Hi everyone. In this video we're going to unravel the definition of a limit. You've probably heard the standard definition in which epsilons and deltas seem to spring up like magic and are never properly explained. Let's try to understand more clearly what's going on. The usual definition of a limit goes something like this. The limit when x tends to x0 of f of x is L if for every epsilon greater than 0 there exists a delta greater than 0 such that if x belongs to the domain of f and 0 is less than the absolute value of x minus x0 and this is less than delta then the absolute value of f of x minus L is less than epsilon. You then learn to calculate limits by mechanical substitution and if you're asked for a definition you just learn it by heart and then repeat it. But we can do better than this. We can understand the maths behind the definition clearly and so come to know precisely the meaning of a limit. The first step is to understand absolute values. If I ask you what's the distance between 1 and 3 you'll immediately tell me 2. If I ask you the distance between minus 1 and 4, you may have to think a little before answering 5. To calculate the distance between two numbers, you subtract them. Minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5, which is negative. Negative distance? Well, if the answer is negative, you just change the sign, and that gives you the absolute value. The distance between two numbers is the absolute value of the result of subtracting them. So every time you see the absolute value of a subtraction, you can think of a distance. If we now look at the definition of a limit, it involves absolute values of subtractions. These give the distances from x to x0 and from f of x to l. What does it mean that the distance between x and x0 is greater than 0. It means that the distance between x and x0 is different than 0, or simply that x and x0 are different. For each epsilon there's a delta. Epsilon and delta are just very tiny quantities. Now let's put our earlier definition into everyday language. The absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon means that the distance from f of x to l is very small. In other words, that f of x is very close to l. It's the same for the absolute value of x minus x0 is less than delta. x is very close to x0 without being quite equal to it. In two simple steps we can understand clearly the meaning of limit. First, the limit as x tends to x0 of f of x is L if, when we approach x0 with points of the domain that are closer and closer to x0 but are still different from x0, the value of the function gets closer and closer to L. Second, and equivalently, the limit at x0 of f of x is the value we approach when we approach x0 with points of the domain that differ from it. In order to calculate the limit at x0, we have to be able to approach x0 by way of points of the domain that are different than x0. This gives rise to the concept of an accumulation point. The limit is calculated at accumulation points of the domain. We've seen one type of limit here. There's also when the limit results in infinity, when it tends to infinity. We'll deal with such cases in a future video. I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again very soon.